Hi guys, today we are going to learn about how to handle on create, on pause, on stop, on destroy every uh, our app compact activity functions or activity lifecycle functions in Jetpack Compose. So if some time if you want to use like on create or on resume or on pause in any function composable function then how you can use it that we are going to learn today. So for this we are going to use lifecycle owner. Uh, we are going, we are going to use lifecycle owner to detect uh, detect all the events and we are going to use disposable effect disposable effect so disposable effect is a, a side effect which is which are given in uh, jetpack compose so this is basically the disposable effect we use when uh, there is a key change and the composable needs to dispose its current effect and reset by calling the effect again so it's a part of side effects which more you can read upon read from the developer.android.com and soon we are going to make a video on all the side effects so you get the more clear idea about the side effects at that time till then it's you can just think about it like whenever there is a um, like if composable are there is a change and composable need to dispose its current effect state you can say and um, again call it the effect then we at that time we use the disposable side effect disposable effect so let's start so um, uh, before starting let me tell you what I am using I am just using the empty compose activity project which you can select from file new new project and you can select from empty compose activity and you can start from here so in if we are having any composable function and I, if you want to listen to the events which are like on create on resume on pause then for this we first uh, we have to take the life cycle owner uh, which is given and i am giving giving it the uh, the value default value local lifecycle owner dot current so in now in function uh, uh, this is a composable function i am taking a column and call in column i am taking modifier modifier dot fill max size and i am taking the vertical arrangement as in the arrangement dot uh, center sorry dot center and the horizontal arrangement will be alignment dot center horizontally center horizontally okay now in in column I am just taking this column just to if I if we are going to set any text or something then we can show it. So now uh, we have to go into use disposable effect. In disposable effect we can take a key and effect. So we are going to that use the lifecycle owner which we have given and we are going to use it like this. So in this disposable effect we have to set an observer which is going to uh, observe the change and here you can take life cycle life cycle event observer we have to use and yeah so it will give us the source and the event so for now and event You can take the source as empty or you can we can work with the event only if event which is given equals to the life cycle android life cycle dot event dot on resume then you can perform your function here else if if you want anything else if the event was to life cycle dot event dot on start on pause on any on create on destroy any you can use i'm taking the on start let's add it after this uh, we have to add the observer in life cycle owner life cycle owner dot life cycle dot 
we need to add this observer and observer we have added and on dispose when we want to dispose it and then again life cycle owner dot life cycle dot remove observer we have to remove the observer on dispose as well observer so how this is how we can so to test it let's start with giving it a toast so i am giving it a toast so for this we have to take context and it will be local context dot cut okay on resume i am putting a toast here toast dot make test text and context which we have given above i am on resume and it's length toast dot length i'm taking short short dot show okay and let's try to run it and let's see how it works so i'm running it and uh, till the time like in this function we have taken the disposable why we are sending the default lifecycle owner and, and this is how you can use it in any like uh, any of the function composable function you can create it like this so see yeah, there you have seen like that was the event was there and the, sorry the toast was there let me again show it to you yeah I am on resume it is calling so this is the one way you can uh, in the function you can use disposable effect and you can uh, simply listen to the events on resume on start whatever you want or if you want to it if you want to make it more uh, smaller and if you want to make it reusable then what we can do in I have created a file custom listener in this I am going to make a function function my event listener listener okay and let's make it a composable function okay in this function uh, let's pass another function we are going to make it a, a higher order function by passing another function in it so let's take a function which we are going to pass in it so in this I am taking on event I am taking an event parameter which will be the life cycle and our life cycle dot event right and the its written type will be unit now in this function we are going to take event handler And we are going to remember its state. The remember we are going to remember the state uh, of the event, whichever was previously like the event which we have passed the on event. The whatever the event or the you know uh, the, like on resume on on pause whatever we are going to pass and we are going to remember its value. Now I mean we have to take the life cycle owner and lifecycle owner remember updated state we are going to remember the state local lifecycle owner dot current it's we are going to this is how we are going to remember the state these are the initial states and now we are going to take the disposable effect the same way which we have taken previously here we are going to use the lifecycle owner dot value which we have passed and in this we are going to use the life cycle cycle as life cycle owner dot value dot the life cycle right and then we have to you add an observer it will be 
life cycle event observer uh, this one source event we can use this one so in this we have like the event handler handler which we have we have to send the updated uh, value dot value will be the event and the same way we have to in the life cycle we have to add the observer again add observer which will be observer and on dispose at the time of dispose we have to remove the observer from the life cycle and now if you want to use it uh, in like any composable function you can use it directly uh, let me show you how you can use it you can use it my event listener and rather than like this is a higher order function we can directly we have only one parameter which is a function we can use it like this and here you can simply uh, just you can use it like this when sorry, when it is and yes us it or you can give it a name like whatever name you want event or anything life cycle dot event dot on resume and the time whatever you, we want to do or if you want to listen to other events as well on start we can do it here like this so i'm taking this and putting it here and let's try run it and see how it going to look and now i'm going to remove this one from here and now you can use it in whatever in any function if you want and let's try run it it should be working so yeah here it come again i am on resume same you can listen on start you can listen to other uh, our activity life cycle events or uh, functions you want if you want in any composable function by creating your custom listener and this will be reusable in any or throughout the compose activity so this is it for today guys do let me know how you like this video and if you want to make me uh, videos on any specific topic for on compose then do let me know till then cheers bye